students here we will see the next phyla of kingdom animalia is the nidaria or selenitria and third phyla is the dinophora in last lecture we have seen phyla porifera here we will see the next second phyla is the nidaria or it is also called as selenitria the member of the, or animals of this phyla is aquatic and most of them are marine only few forms are fresh water for example some species of hydra this is the hydra some few species of hydra are fresh water and few are of marine water. so most of them are marine and few form are of fresh water they are sessile or free swimming sessile means attached to substratum not move from one place to another place and free swimming means they float on the surface of water they free from one they don't move from one place to one another place then they are diploblastic means two germinal layer ectoderm and endoderm from which body is originated then symmetry are of radial symmetry they show radial symmetry this hydra show hexagonal radial symmetry because body of hydra is cut into two equal half in six plane and body of anulia or jellyfish cut into four planes in two equal half means four equal body parts there are six body equal parts so called as tetrahedral hexahedral radial symmetry means they show radial symmetry then they show blind sac body plan one end of cysteine or one end of animal is blind only one end is open called as mouth from this mouth food is entered and undigested food is ejected out this is the blind sac body plan only one opening food is entered and undigested food is ejected from same opening one end is blind so called as blind sac body plan these animals show two forms one is polyp and another is unit polyp means sessile they attach to substrate not locomote from one place to another place at the requirement they locomote with the help of tentacle but most of them are sessile attached to substrate and medusa means umbrella like what is umbrella like and they float on the surface of water they are free in the water they are free swimming medusa then body cavity body cavity of these animals also called as gastrovascular cavity because this cavity show two function digestion as well as circulation food is entered through this mouth then food is digested in this cavity and absorbed in the digested food is absorbed in the body so circulatory system means a digestive as well as circulatory function so called as gastrovascular cavity this cavity is also called as selenitrium so this phylum is called as selenitrita this animal hydra or anulia they show tentacles here yes, number of tentacles this hydra show six tentacles here yes, the special features of this phylum this tentacles show a special type of cells these special type of cells called as nidoblast these cells are called as nidoblast so these animals or this phyla is called as nidaria because of nidoblast presence of nidoblast cells tentacle having this specialized the cells so called nidaria this nidoblast cell this cell having this nucleus this rods here this is the cone like structure and this having spines and this cone like structure have the thread tube this cone like structure produces this thread tube 
when it discharged some object it is thread like this cone is darted outside when there is a no discharge or after discharge this cone shaped structure get inside this cone shaped structure get inside and this thread tube then encircled here this is after discharge and in this is before discharge this tentacles having these special types of cells called as neuroblasts and they help in offense as well as defense and for capture the food these animals show two type of reproduction one is sexual and another is asexual form this type of animal show two type of reproduction sexual and asexual asexual reproduction are of two type budding and regeneration this hydra form small bud on the body then this bud become grow having tentacles then enlarge and then it detach from the parent and act as a new organism new individual this type of asexual reproduction called as bud some example of this phylum show alternation of generation means this polyps form altered by medusa then medusa altered by polyps this polyps form so sexually produce medusa and medusa sexually produce polyps example is obelia this alternation of generation called as metagenesis an example of is is the obelia this is the phylum nidaria of celentrata nidaria because of nidoblast and celentrata this cavity gastrovascular cavity called as celenteron then we will see the next third phylum is the tinophora <laughs> minor phylum because very few example of this phylum exist on the earth they are also called as comb jelly or these animals are called as sea walnut comb jelly because they show this ciliated comb plates there are about eight plates this ciliated comb plates how many are there eight row of this comb plates with the help of this comb plate cilia these animals locomote from one place to another place this because of this comb and uh, these animals are jelly like means transparent so these are called as comb jelly and why called as sea walnut structure is like walnut so called as sea walnuts they are exclusively marine no species found in freshwater they are free swimming they freely swim into the water by water they are diploblastic body is originated from two layer ectoderm and endoderm they show radial symmetry body is cut into two equal half in number of planes means radial symmetry body plan is blind sac body plan like the hydra this also show blind sac plan this is the mouth from which food is enter and undigested food is eject out then which type of level of organization tissue level they form the tissue mouth this pharynx this stomach this comb jelly cilia means they have number of tissues means the tissue level of organization how locomotion takes place they have eight rows of ciliated complex these green colored ciliated complex how many are there eight rows of this ciliated complex with the help of these cilia this small hair like structure called as cilia this cilia internally it have nine plus three arrangement this is the unit arrangement 
with the help of the cilia they locomote this is the largest animal low animal like paramecia which is unicellular like amoeba paramecium is also unicellular paramecium locomote with the help of cilia low animal but it is a higher animal but they locomote with the help of cilia and special organization is 9 plus 3 then this animal show gastrovascular cavity like which phyla cylindrate or nida gastrovascular means food is digested as well as food is absorbed and these animal are called as onidarians because no nidoblast these cells nidoblast cells are absent in these animals so these are called as onidarians instead of this nidoblast or sting cells this nidoblast is also called as sting cell because this cone shaped structure and have the thread with the help of this they capture the food so so it is called as sting sting cells and this instead of sting cell there is a coloblast or sticky cells these cells red color cells called as coloblast or sticky cells these cells having number of secretory are these granules and these two filament one is straight and another is spiral filament with the help of this filament they adhes they adhesive means stick the food means this coloblast help to capture the food then so reproduction only one type is sexual reproduction this animal show only one type of reproduction which is sexual but these animals are hermaphrodite mean both gametes produce male as well as female sex gametes produce by single animal hermaphrodite and which type of development indirect means they do not produce young one like itself they produce middle stages larval stages and then mature adult is formed it is called as indirect development example of this phyla is the pleurobrachia and the special character of this phyla is the bioluminescence bioluminescence they have photocells and they emit the light they walnut they um, brighting in the sea water they have the uh, bioluminescence it is the special character or features found in phyla pinophore